and welcome to another edition of Ask Dr. K. So today we're going to talk about a question I hear a lot in my practice. A lot of women come to me with a pathology report from some biopsy that they've had and they're not sure about the difference between precancer and cancer. So that's what we're going to talk about today, the difference between precancer and cancer. So basically precancers are abnormalities of the cells themselves, but they don't have the ability to invade and spread to other areas of the body. So cancers are cells that have gone horribly bad, but in addition to being abnormal, they can actually invade into the tissues around them and spread throughout the body. So that's how cancers can ultimately make people sick and even potentially kill people, is by spreading to other areas. Precancers, on the other hand, can grow just where they are, but they can't invade and spread to other parts of the body. So for example, a lot of women come in with a pap smear that's abnormal, and they might get a biopsy and the biopsy will say well, there's precancer of the cervix. And it can obviously make you nervous to see that diagnosis, but that's a lot different than having an actual cancer of the cervix. So cancer is much more serious and potentially requires a lot more treatment. Precancers are definitely much easier to treat. This is a picture of how your cervix looks under a microscope. The top layer of cells are the lining and the cells are very organized in relationship to each other. Underneath that is a layer of what we call supportive tissue, and below that is a layer of blood vessels. So in precancer, the cells themselves in that top lining layer can be abnormal, meaning the nuclei can be too large or the organization of the cells can be abnormal, but those cells can't invade into the tissues underneath. The difference is with cancer, the cancer cells are abnormal, but they can also invade into those blood vessel layers and those supportive tissue layers underneath. This is a drawing of how cells of the cervix look under the microscope. The upper left hand corner shows how normal cells look. The cells in the upper right hand corner show signs of inflammation. In the lower right hand corner, you can see how things change when precancer is present. The nuclei get larger and the cells start to look a little bit more irregular. But when there's cancer present, the cells are wildly abnormal, the nuclei are huge, and the cells look totally different than normal cells. So this shows you how the cells look different in cancer versus precancer. But again, in a cancer, the cells not only look different, but they also have the ability to invade into the structures below. So hopefully this, this segment helped you understand the difference between precancer and cancer. If you have questions about your own condition, I definitely recommend that you talk to your doctor about that in detail. But you can also get a lot of information from my book, Not Your Mother's Hysterectomy, A Transformation in Women's Healthcare. So check it out on the, on the web or Amazon.com, and there's a lot more description about this problem. Now, if you have other questions for me to discuss in future segments, and these questions should be something very general, kind of like we talked about here, please send them in to me at askdrktv at gmail.com. Thank you. See you next time.